All right. So I'm Chris Parker. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. I'm the corporate chef and national sales manager for Mercer Culinary. I'm very pleased to be here with Dean Supply today to talk a little bit about the process that goes into hand or manually sharpening a chef's knife. And so I have one of our chef's knives here today, along with one of our new sharpening stones. Uh, these are double-sided sharpening stones. The way that these work, these are numerically graded. Uh, and so they are graded anywhere from 240 grain all the way up to 8,000. Uh, and so these are perfect products for being able to take care of hand sharpening your knives. Now this process does take a little bit of, of practice. It's a technical skill that uh, is worthwhile to learn because you can control the sharpening process of your knives. And that's really where the value comes of this in. Most chefs and line cooks like to be able to control everything in their world. So we want to make sure we offer products that you have available to be able to sharpen your knives to that same level of expertise that you expect in your kitchens and operations every day. So the, what comes in the box? The box for this product right here, it comes with a silicone foot. So it will be secure in place. And there's also instructions on how to use this. When you're using this product, you need to use a small film of either food grade honing oil or in this case water. We find water to be a little bit simpler and easier just because it's more readily available and it's easier to maintain. And so what you'll do essentially is create a thin film of water across the top, uh, beat it across the top of the stone. There will be a little bit of spillage, so make sure you account for that when you're doing that. Some places we either set this on a towel or you can do it over a bin, Cambro, etc. Uh, when you're working with that. The biggest thing is just to make sure that you're going to make a little bit of a mess. Now, for the process of doing this, you, there are lots of different ways of using a sharpening stone on there. It is very technique driven, so everybody's a little bit different. This is the way that I like to do it though. So, as we said, we get ourselves set up on the sharpening stone. The way that I like to do it, to find the proper angle is to set the knife up perpendicular, 90 degrees to the stone. Cut that angle in half, and then cut it in half again. That gets to me to be right around somewhere around 20 degrees, which for me, personally, is the sweet spot for my knives. Again, everybody's different, so there's lots of different ways to do it and find it, but generally speaking, a 20 degree angle is an ideal place to start. So, I found the angle, and now the most important thing when using a sharpening stone is maintain that angle. So as I use this sharpening stone, I'm going to use a straight movement across the top, and the biggest thing and most important thing that I'm doing is you'll see that my wrist does not move. There's no variation as I do that. And that's the single most important thing when it comes to sharpening a knife. You can pick any angle that you like. It's entirely up to you. 20 degrees is the easiest and most common. But the most important thing is you maintain consistency across the top when you do that. If you don't, if there's movement here, the, blade, the edge or the bolster, the bevel of the blade can be different and you'll get a different cutting performance, which is not ideal. So we want a uniform bevel or edge across it by using a uniform sharpening edge as we go. So I'll set myself up 90 degrees, half, halfway, halfway again, and start in one corner of the stone, and I use the entire length of the stone to sharpen the entire length of the knife. The reason I do that is I get uniform wear across the entire length of the stone, as opposed to just hanging out here in the middle, which gives us uneven wear and can shorten life of the stone. If you really try to use the entire length of the stone to sharpen the entire length of the knife, you get optimal wear and you get the most out of your sharpening stone over time. So we've talked about the stone itself, what we're working with. Uh, as we said, the grits and grains can vary. Uh, we're using a high grit here to really do a fine polish on it. We have our technique, right? We're setting ourselves up to 90, halfway, halfway again. And the most important thing is maintain that uniform angle across the entire stone. We have all that. Now, to bring it together and uh, do the actual process itself, uh, I usually do these in three or four strokes per side, so I need to make sure I sharpen both sides of the knife. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to start by doing the side without the Mercer logo on it, and then I'll flip it over and do both sides. So both sides need to be sharpened, and this essentially is how it comes together. 90, halfway, halfway again, start in one corner, nice and smooth across the entire length of the stone. Bring it back, nice and straight across the entire length of the stone. Steady medium pressure, about the amount of force you need to do to push through an onion, just nice and clean straight across the top. So three or four strokes, and that's good. I'll continue to add water to it. You can see this little bit of slurry that begins to develop. That is the actual steel coming off of the knife. So that is the polishing process. We are removing metal from the knife. That's why we want to push too hard. And we also don't want to overdo it because as you remove metal, you can shorten the life of the blade. So a little bit's important. That's what re-exposes a fresh edge. But in this case, we don't want to overdo it because we are indeed removing steel from the surface of the knife. 
So next side here, so we're going to flip it over. And I actually, my personal preference is to use the other hand. Do what works best for you. Same process, 90, halfway, halfway again. Nice and straight, using the entire length of the stone to sharpen the entire length of the knife. Just like that. You continue that process until you've gotten to the top grit stone. After, once you're done with that, clean, wipe your knife down, use a little bit of, uh, use a honing steel to find a polish of the blades, and you're ready to go. Thank you for having me at Dean Supply. We appreciate your support.